most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Okay, so we're here with Ian and Mark, and we're up at the Caribou Hudson, and uh, we're going to look at this out of here. And, um, thank you guys for bringing me up here. You know, people are always saying they want to come with me, but, hell, I don't know where I'm going. I'd never be able to find my way up here. You know, it's a really important having some local knowledge, and guys can show you around and show you this stuff for a year, looking forever to find it. So this was a mill site here at one time. Yeah, always the first part's the worst, eh? Yeah. Near the surface. Yeah. She's leaning over. Oh, we're not getting anywhere. It's clipped in here. As far as we're getting on this one. That's about where we started digging. And we dug where the road is. Them uh, mining plaster stuff, but it goes underground too. So they, I guess they just go right down to the bedrock. And uh, they're allowed to take anything off the bedrock. And then the hard rock is another different claim. Is that how yes. that works? Yeah, there's hard rock. Uh, those are mineral claims and then there's plaster claims. Plaster yeah. claims are everything from the surface down to solid bedrock. Yeah. But there's a, there's a there can be a gray area where the bedrock is decomposed. Yeah. Which is yeah. the best kind of place to look for the plaster. So what was this mine called here? This is the Beggs Gulch workings. Alright. We're heading up to an attic here. Beautiful location. And the lower one was blasted shut. But this top one's supposed to be open here, so. Doesn't look too wet, eh, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of water. What fun would be going to mine was dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty high back on this. They were looking for gravel so, when they went high. Well, is that ever layered, eh? Yeah. S straight it's vertical. Just didn't feel like. Well, the uh, the carbonate pans in here also carry gold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how old do you think this mine is? This was originally dug in the 20s and then redone in the 50s. Oh, yeah. I'll take the right branch here first. Lots of timbering in here, huh? That's pretty cool looking. The plaza. I love the way it goes like that. Getting pretty skinny in here. I know lots of Chinamen work around here. <laughs> Yeah. That looks to be in pretty good shape though. And I don't think they had any trains. Water's supposed to be getting shallower. Well, wow, look at all the timbering in here. It's way back in here. Must be really unstable. Above us. Did a nice job on the timbering. Doesn't look like it was that old. Yeah. A different kind of rock for sure. Well, we're used to seeing hmm. old Barkerville gold mines. Looks like they have a shaft going down here. And that's as far as they went. Our wind's going down here. All the water's coming in from this, I think, all from the sides. Oh, this must have been an old creek channel. This must have been an old creek channel, eh? Yep. Creek bed looks like that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's what this would be as an old creek. And then all the wind's going down to bedrock, I guess there. Can't be very far down though. Because the water's coming right in from the side here. It's fairly recent, eh? Hey? I think they're probably the 50s. Yeah, yeah Timber's a nice shape. Because if you're not worried about this one, then that's No, this one's good. That's the this, this stuff here you don't want to be touching a lot of this stuff, but it ain't gonna if it caves in, not gonna be much, you know, just a little, you know. A little bit, it's not gonna, you can see the whole thing's not gonna fall over. The uh, defor deformation in here, that it is not. This is a uh, metamorphic rock, Yeah. so it was buried uh, deep down and subject to a lot of heat and pressure, and the rock becomes plastic. And you can see it here in yeah. the way that the, the curves in the rock are simply from the heat and the pressure and the rock being soft. So you know a little bit about geology and formations in the area, Mark? Well, I know a little bit. I'm <laughs> certainly no, no expert. But. <laughs> now, there's such a difference between different regions, you know, of different types of formations. Yes. 
And you almost have to kind of specialize in one area. Yes, you do. Absolutely. You go somewhere else, you don't know nothing. The quartz carbonate veins in here do carry gold, but they're not high value. Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. That's the back. They Where tried they to get, They tried to find the other part of that plastic uh, yeah. panel. This is new. All this log, all this timber used to be standing up. It was a sluice going off into the creek. Yeah. And they just shoveled by hand into the flume. Yeah. Yeah, and dumped it in there. Yeah. It's the same way they did it a hundred years ago. Yeah. But they did an amazing job here. So this is Antler Creek. Apparently, Mark says here that one time they just pick uh, nuggets right out of here. I guess when they first started mining here a long time ago. Eh? Well, on its first discovery up for Antler was an incredibly rich creek, and it kind of made the caribou. Yeah, uh, it was. You it was could nuts. pan ounces per pan back in those days. Yeah. There were sections of the original uh, discovery claim on Antler where the miners didn't know what to do because it was solid bedrock and nothing but gold. Instead of gravel, it was only gold. <laughs> That's it. Can you, can you imagine that? Just There's an old bathtub here. I think the water's probably a little cold. But this has got to be the coolest uh, use of any old mine track I've ever seen. Like, we got a nice little rail that they set up for this staircase. Well, it's good for keeping beer cold. <laughs> yeah, look at this uh, staircase here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, we're at the Shapu mine here. Shapu, I guess. Yep. This was a silver mine, so yeah. we're going to... It's a little wet, but our feet are already wet, so it don't make no difference at this point. So we might as well go in there and have a look to see if we can get in here. Go there we go. There we go. There. That should be big enough Keep to get in there, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Oh. I don't know how deep that is. Oh, it's two and a half feet. That's pretty deep. <laughs> as long as my balls stay dry, that's the rule, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like well, we'll see what it's going to be like on the other side. This oops, sir. We're going to be. Oh yeah, there's rats here. Water in this one's a little deep. <laughs> Goes down a ways. That's not so deep here. Getting better. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Oh, there's still some rails in here. Oh. Looks like, oh, that's no, that's the water. Yeah, there's rails and uh, airline. There we go. That's pretty cool looking mine. Yeah, it gets a lot shallower. You're through the deepest part of it already. This looks like it could be a pretty good mine. Big tracks, eh? They got big tracks and they're on 24 inch gauge too. Yeah, it's dry just up here. Yeah, the Shapu mine. Well, look at the quartz in here. Huh? So this is a silver mine, which is a little bit uncommon in this area. Mostly gold here, but this one's silver. Oh, nice looking mine. Awesome. Huh. Okay. Uh-oh. No, no. Just a bit of a cave and it doesn't quit. Oh, it might quit. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. We might be out of mine here really quick. Oh, shit, eh? We're out of mine. Oh, that's kind of a disappointment. Doesn't go very far. Look like such a major object. You never know. Sometimes you go and squeeze through a tiny little ladder and it just goes and goes and goes and goes. And other times, yeah, never went any further. A little bit of copper or sail is silver in here, right? Look. We have uh, malachite and azurite there. Yeah. They're both copper, uh, copper ore. That looks pretty blue. Usually the copper is greener, eh? I think. No. Huh? No. The, uh, the blue and the, and the green uh, are both copper oxides. They're uh, calcium carbonate uh, oxides. They're both Look copper. Look how dark this is. Pretty colorful. There's some excellent examples of the copper ore. 
Now the water's all muddy, we can't see where the bottom is, but it's a yeah. little it's a little cold, eh Mark? It's a little nippy. <laughs> so as long as the package is dry, it's not bad. I don't know, you're getting awfully close there. Yeah, I'm getting closer. <laughs> I was under the impression it was a way bigger mine. Yeah. yeah. You don't know until you go in. Sometimes just a little hole and it goes way ahead, and other times it's a big hole and it'll go anywhere. Just doing a little prospect in here so the little maltite can. Some, it's supposed to be some glean in We've here. We got a little bit of glean in that one. We got a little bit of uh, azurite and blue along the edges there. There's the silver bearing ore, and there's copper staining all throughout it. Looks like a shaft going down. I don't know how steep it'll be. They look like they're more level. Oh, well, it's not too far down. Oh, but we need a rope though. You can almost get down there without a rope, but nah, nah, not really. That'd be easy if you had a rope though. All it's gonna be just a piece of hand line. So it's an incline shaft, not a... Well, I don't know if it's an open stope, I think is what it is. I don't know how much further it goes, looks like a... Put just a pocket in there, eh? Alright, so this is what we saw with the drone. Looks a little unstable there. That's okay for me though. <laughs> huh. I can sneak through this first part without touching anything. Probably be okay. That works. Oh yeah, once you get in here it's fine. I don't know if it'll hook on to that, that other one that we didn't have a rope to go down. It's probably similar. There's a raise here. Oh. The raise doesn't go too far. I don't think that's more than about four or five feet. I could probably almost climb up by myself, but if I hop down there, I don't know if I can get back out. You want me to hold your camera? Yeah, just hold this for a sec. Okay. I think I can get up there. Oh. There we go. There. Oh. Yeah, so now we're gonna decide whether this is stupid. Probably. <laughs> yeah, this is as far as it goes right there. It does end just collapse, eh? Yeah. All that effort to find out well, that's not the worst one. I could, the effort's going to be getting out. <laughs> well, I could stick a bunch of rocks and make a bit of a... Well, if I, I could stick my one leg, leg up on here, I might be able to climb up here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and if not... I think I can. Okay, so here's Frank. And this is where we'll be leaving them. <laughs> so if anybody wants to find them, yeah. we'll tell you the directions. Uh, it's going to take a little while though. My idea is if I can get my foot up on here. <laughs> if I was a stripper, I'd have no problem doing that. <laughs> yeah, but then we'd have to get a pole. My clothes are pulled up. <laughs> Oh, that takes a bit of strength. Whew. It's so far across, eh? I couldn't hold myself up. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Out of the depths, you go. <laughs> that was fun. There you go. I'm not gonna go down there. <laughs> no reason to. No. No reason now. And I, there's an old drill bit. Yeah. Oh, look at the dynamite tamping rod. Oh, it's a tamper. <laughs> yeah, an old drill bit. <laughs> no, I didn't see any. Let's see how steep this chute goes down. Huh. Well, you know what? Oh, wow. That looks cool. Not real steep either. It looks like an ore chute right there. Yeah, and it's not real steep, it just goes down and flattens out. <laughs> I 
turn all the ways down to the main hall level of the Caribou Hudson. And this is a pretty cool shot here. Look at that shot the lake. Come in there, and it's not very far to get up there. We just put about 30 feet of rope down there. We made good time coming down here. Yeah. Uh, oh well, the everyone has their uh, you know their limits, right? So. Yeah. yeah. And I actually pushed the poor guy over as I was driving. <laughs> I missed the most beautiful shot last trip up here because we were climbing up in the truck, and we get to this little hill that's kind of steep. And I started filming, and Ian starts screaming, Mark, you can't do that. We can't make, you can't go up there. Simple, you can't be, we're going to die. <laughs> As I'm driving over the top, and when I get to the top, I ask, well, what were you saying? <laughs> okay, here comes Mark. He's the second man down on the chute here, so we've got ourselves another level, so we'll show it to you here. Pretty cool. He was worried about it. He says, it's going to be wet down there? He says, well, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't bring my boots. Oh. They're up in the top. Well, I got good news and bad news. It's wet, but it's a little frozen. Now, this is a truly Canadian mine out of You can say hockey. <laughs> well, there we are. It's, uh, what, uh, 1st of September? So, we call this a glacier, I guess, because it ain't going to melt this year. Wow, look at all these different levels. Oh, Ian's going to be pissed off. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was going to check some other stuff out. We're sticking to our right hand roll so we know where we were. Now we got this. Water oh, what have we got under here? Look. <laughs> Danger explosives. So this must have flooded last winter and it started melting. Oh, finally finding some decent parts of the caribou Hudson. I don't think a lot of people have been in here. You guys didn't even know this was here until we used the drone and flew in here. Oh yeah, now we're starting to get into some little bit of a war, eh? Different stuff, just a small little layer of it. What we have here is uh, fillet. What have, what have we got there? That's uh, fillet. It's a highly metamorphosed sandstone. Very weak rock. <sighs> Very metamorphosed uh, mudstone. Bloodstone. Mudstone, <laughs> almost turning into mica. There's an old explosive box. Can't tell what kind it is. Powder boxes. Look, there's an old broom. <laughs> That's an old timer, huh? Oh, that is. A little powder room. Oh, there's a grease, eh? Texaco grease for the track. Pedal of grease. Grease container. Well, it's awesome we got into the Caribou Hudson because these guys didn't really know a way of getting in that wasn't collapsed. It didn't take very long to find one. Yeah. So this might actually go into a whole bunch of other workings, eh? Well, we're wondering how they got the ore out of here. So it came up to this main hall level somewhere. You can see a year it'll be up in the corner, but I'm not seeing it. It's a little bit black. I really can't quite see it. Or maybe nice to right there, see, right there, see. 27, 40 something, right? 45. 45. 27, 27, 3, 1945. We're going to follow this ice to the surface, hopefully. It might, it might be connected to the one that we were at already, but I think we're above that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another ore chute going down. Hey, we're at the main hall level. This could be really extensive. See, we got a problem. We've got to go to the right, but it's wet. <laughs> you want to go in the dry section first? Sure. Oh, you probably don't want to go down there anyhow. So let's, go, there. let's go up here first. Yeah, well, there. Oh, and there's a branch right here too. Another, another stope here. Oh, this. oh wow. Oh, it goes down. Oh yeah, see I figured that it went down. Yeah, we're at a level above that where we first uh, tried to get in. It's a little skinny in here. Huh. Wow. 
don't know if that goes to surface or not, but it goes up. Oh, watch it, we got a wooden, uh, there's a false floor here. Let me check here. Oh, that doesn't go down very far. It only goes down a little ways. It only goes down like four feet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't worry about falling through that. Oh, well, it's a little further where you are, but yeah, there's nothing here. It's only a couple feet down there. It's not steep. I might hop down there to see where it goes. Okay. But we'll continue on the main level first. Whew. Oh, there's a big stope here. Oh wow. Just way here. Somebody's gonna be pissed off they didn't come in here, I'll tell you. <laughs> There's a big stove here. It's all dry too. We have another another horseshoe coming down. Oh, wow, Holy <laughs> Look how dry it is in here. Oh and there's the other level right there. There's another level, goes down. More levels up ahead. Well, we definitely got into some pretty extensive workings. Yeah. It looks like the orb is going down, eh? Possibly. Huh. Oh. Oh, there's another compartment going down. We'll hop down there and see where that goes. Hmm. Oh, it's wet right there. Doesn't go any further, but it's wet. It's full of water right there. See what in there? See if the ladder's in good shape. I'll put my camera down there, trust me. There we go. <laughs> Let's see where we're going to go this way. Nowhere. <laughs> There's all kinds of little, little tunnel in here. Oh, yeah, we're underneath that. We're underneath that. Shoots there. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get down. Plug the bottom. I was looking. This is where we kind of hopped over right here. If we hopped up here, we'd be right on that false floor that we we're worried about. Oh, okay. We could actually get up this way pretty easy. Yeah, just come on up here and hop up. Yeah, we left all our toys down there. Our toys were on the ice. Oh, oh it doesn't matter. Oh, we're going to head back yeah. to the ice. Yeah, here. we just head back up there. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. Well, there's nothing really crazy about this, but it's interesting. Yeah. Lots of little artifacts in here. It tells you there hasn't been a lot of people in here. Let's we'll go back and get them. Well, it's a tough one to find. If we didn't have the drone, we'd never found it. Just kind of a flip thing. Yeah, you never know how deep this is. It's not very deep at all. There, commercial tank. There's some rail here. It's old too, man. Look, it's all riveted. That's an old air tank. There's a frog here. Where's the track switch? No, it's gone. The switch, the lever to move the tracks. Yeah, it's, sometimes they look pretty cool. It was right there. Oh, this one ends right here, so we'll go this way anyhow. Looks like it's caved in here. I don't know if it ends or if it's just caved. All right, so we're getting to some more horseshoes. So there's going to be another for this deposit. Yeah, we've seen. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a skip. We skip one up there. Ah. 
How far up does it go? The ladders don't look bad, but I wouldn't trust them. It's pretty steep too, eh? Yeah. Yeah, if it's not anchored at the top there, that can be sketchy. Well, <laughs> the rose could break on the way. <laughs> Yeah, don't fall down any ladder. I don't know how they all get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stick to the right. There's the winds here, but that's not bad because it's... Wow, look at the big junction. Huh? Yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind them because I can swim. Yeah, it's... the ones don't scare me. <laughs> yeah, it's the flying that's kind of tough as you're yeah. falling through the air. <laughs> I got trouble with flying. Yeah, this is not very mineralized rock either. Yeah, we're going to see a whole bunch of little... That it's in this area where obviously they had a pretty rich vein above where they went up and down maybe. And so they would be testing for extensions of that vein. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well I don't prefer not to swim, but I'd rather not. Well <laughs> oh, there's a stick of dynamite. No, it's not dynamite. <laughs> Boom! Oh, I guess it was dynamite. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go down here, third, a bit deeper here. And uh, we won't go past her. <laughs> Waste. <laughs> oh, no, there's a cool hanger for the neat hanger for the hairlines. Oh, it might just end here. But I, well, I think we might have a bit of a shaft. Wow. Well, yeah, for sure. Whoa, that looks cool. Better look down there in a minute. There's another. No rats down here. It's kind of nice. Well, nice job on this guarding, eh? Yeah, beautiful guardrail built. Yeah. Take care of the around this. Oh, it goes way down. I, man, if I had a rope, a rope side go down there. But I need my climbing rigging. These ladders might even be good, but I wouldn't go down without a rope. No, that's for sure. If a guy was on a rope, then you're fine, but. Oh, and we don't have a rope long enough. Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. I need proper proper rigging anyways to get back up so I wouldn't just go down on toe strap. That's a neat compartment though. Uh, okay. Is it going up there too, Mark? No, I didn't notice that. Oh yeah. Oh, looks like it goes up for a ways, eh? Probably another 40, 50 feet. You can shine up there? Oh, I never noticed that. Take a second look here. I don't know how close you should get to that compartment. No, that's okay there. That's as close as I'm getting. Yeah, it's not. Uh, this is where the railing is, so it yeah. must be solid there. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it looks like it probably ends there though, eh? I think. Join us next week. We're going to take 300 feet of rope and go straight down this shaft and explore many exciting other levels in Barkerville Gold Mines Part 2.